Is that better? Can you guys hear me now? Oh, I think I know what I did. Hold on. Hold on. I think I forgot to turn it on. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> I was so good. I put this on and I forgot to. I'm fried. I'm fried today. Can you hear me now? Thank you guys so much. Uh, TikTok, you guys could hear me because um, I was going through the microphone on the camera. <laughs> you got, oh, good. Y'all missed my whole rant. You missed my whole rant. That's okay. Don't even worry about it. Y'all don't even need to hear it. Actually, y'all could just guess what I was talking about. Um, in a nutshell, one of my posts that I reposted from a long time ago with different sound just, just blew up. Um, on my TikTok page today, and I've been doing nothing but answering questions about upholstery and Miss Lillian's metallic paint. That's all I've been doing my entire day, answering questions, because I love it. I love answering the questions. It warms my heart. It makes me so happy. It's all I want to do is tell people how to do things. Um, okay, no, that sounded bossy, but help people upcycle, reuse, reduce, recycle, be creative, make things the color that they want, and just provide a general level of colorful entertainment. And about 99% of the people who are commenting and asking me questions are freaking fantastic. And I just love it because they are on Team Tanglewood forevermore. And then there's about 1% that I just want to drop kick into a flaming volcano. <laughs> Y'all know who I'm talking about, the trolls. It's okay. You know, very few on this one though. I gotta say, I'm taking the win. What the heck are we doing today? Okay, I don't know if I can turn my camera. Can you guys see? So what I started doing is this piece right here. Oh gosh, you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to turn it and I can't turn that, so hold on. Can y'all, there, can you see it? There. So this is my new Daydream Apothecary uh, creation. Do I have a plan? No, not really. Uh, I have, a, have an inkling of a plan. And the inkling of that plan involves a smushing and mushing of the colors in a random way to create a backdrop. So what I did is I laid this thing, y'all gotta go watch the reels or the YouTubes or the shorts or whatever the heck they're called on whatever platform, the short little video ditties. My short little ditties, that's what they are, they're ditties. My ditties, go watch my ditties. Um, where I basically poured water down paint all over the back of this piece of furniture. Now, some of you are like, uh, Sue, water, wood, hello, darling. Yeah, um, probably wasn't the smartest thing. It needed to have been a hotter day. And yes, I did warp the wood ever so slightly, but I was able to warp it back by putting something heavy on top. It's all good. What did I learn? What did I learn? Um, make sure you get that stuff to evaporate fast. If you're using a lot of water on wood, make sure it's a hot day and not a humid day. Okay. Number two, um, uh, <laughs> tape off the areas you don't want to get paint because that's how we ended up getting that really cool drip effect, but completely unexpected and probably not what I was going for, although it is cool. Again, check my ditty and you'll see it. So, why did I do, want to do it this way? Because I, I just want to keep pushing the limits and seeing what kind of background we can get to play on and how can we just make something that's a little unexpected, that doesn't look like you can figure it out, that doesn't look like it's painted or it's paint poured or contrived in any way. I just want to let the colors kind of do their thing. So the next step in this is I want to keep testing the colors still. So we have this. I went and played with it a little bit after I left you. It's not quite the same colors. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, Jay Jim got the Harry Page right here on my channel. Um, so I know I'm blanking. Why am I blanking? Because I've answered so many questions today, my brain's fried. But I'm excited to paint. I just want to paint and not think. So I might not be able to make those things called words today. But basically what I want to do is try out new combinations of colors on my canvas today. So here's my implements of construction or destruction or whatever you want to call it. I grabbed a bunch of the rollers. Y'all keep asking me where the rollers are and I keep telling you, links in the bio. Go to my bio page, tanglewoodsue.com slash links slash Amazon page. All of them are there, all of them, okay? And more, 
and so much more. Then I grab a bunch of stencils. These are old, old stencils. I've used them and I re reuse them and I've used pieces of them and parts of them and they're falling all over the place. We don't care. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to have to take off these boots. I was making a TikTok on how you can paint leather. I don't think, I don't think Facebook, Facebook's horizontal today. Y'all can't see my boots. I'm going to have to take them off because I'm going to fall on myself. So um, we've got some warm and cool tones here and we started playing with using more of the Sundance and the uh, Mom's Night Out. Like I kind of feel like that's where I want to go with some of this. Um, so let's just start playing. I've also got just a roller, okay? I don't even have water for this because we're just gonna roll it in one and then roll it in another and we're just gonna experiment. So I kind of wanna test it so that this looks a little bit more like that. So I think I wanna just get some more blues on here just so it looks a little more similar. So how are we gonna do that? I wanna practice putting on different layers of texture. That's what I wanna do. Layers of texture, okay. So um, these are all, I'm gonna use for the sake of argument today, I'm not going to deviate from Daydream Apothecary Paint. That way, when y'all are like, what color was it? And I don't jump right on the comment and tell you exactly what color it was that yes, I posted in the comments and in the post and put a link to, that's not you. I'm not making fun of you in particular. Just a few today. <laughs> Welcome, you guys. Um, it's like I post it and then I did all this work to like have my shop embedded in all my social media so I actually link exactly to the product and then I had to answer at least a hundred times, where can I buy it? Which, you know what, again, universe, thank you. I'm excited because that's what I wanted to have happen. I just hope I wouldn't have the step where I'd have to repost it. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna start a little bolder here, so let's do this is what I like to do. I'm making a huge mess. I'm just gonna have to clean up later. Let's put out, can you guys see this over here? I want you to be able to kind of see what I'm doing. Hello, Miss Molly, how are you? Can, uh, all right, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I've just got this over here. Let me pull it in. <laughs> got this over here. So you can see all the madness. I don't want you guys to miss any of this. I'm gonna put some salt water down here. Oh my God, I did it so. I'm not going to say painting because I'm so tired from answering comments all day that I will get all the paint names wrong. I will call it Boys Night Out. I will call it Eight Girls Blue. I'm so sorry, Natasha. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm a wreck today. I can't remember anything. But that's why it's all Daydream Apothecary Paint. Y'all can figure it out. Okay, so let's just start putting some patterns on here. I don't know what we're doing. We're just going to put some patterns. Actually, let's do this. So what we did before, sorry, on the last live, we mushed the colors, we just played with them, and then I forgot to tell you, I cheated on you. Right after the live, I sprayed the whole thing with water, and then I put a roller through. I'm sorry. Sometimes I cheat. Right after the live, sometimes I get like this epiphany. As soon as I turn off the camera, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. And then it's too late to invite you back in because you've already left, you're having dinner. So. Let's just do this. I don't know what we're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates. Oh my God, maybe I shouldn't speak today. Maybe the universe was right in turning off my microphone. But let's just start adding some colors in to see what happens, to see what happens. So I'm gonna just keep overlapping. I don't know, I don't know. How are you guys all doing today? Oh, thank you. Loving my hair. I'm due for a touch up. I think we need a brighter shade of purple, don't you think, for the summer? I think it, I know, Evelyn, I, I'm so sorry it's harder when I'm at the canvas. That's why I put on the microphone that I evidently needed new batteries for. I apologize. Um, I will try to talk closer to the camera or bring the camera a little closer Sorry, I'm, I'm bound to cause some kind of catastrophe here by doing this, but let me see what I can do. For you. Okay. I can try to talk 
I can try to talk loud too. Okay. All right. So this is how I like to do kind of my layered pieces. You don't think too much. That's why I was kind of excited to do this. Y'all are perfect. This is why I was kind of excited to do this a little bit tired and a little bit exhausted and a little bit punchy because um, let's, see what, let's see what happens when I can't think. When I can't think, when, I can't, when my executive function is absolutely gone. So I'm just pouring my paint right out of here on this big piece of paper, you guys. And uh, we'll see what happens. It could be a bloody mess. It could be just ridiculous. I don't know. I don't really care. I just want to play with colors and shapes and figure out what we want to be our dominant colors and what kind of effect we can get here. Those of you guys who are, Melissa, are you here? Do you remember? I had a, a craft club, a paint, uh, what was it? Crazy ass craft club. Oh, that's cool. See, we're already getting something fun. It's already fun. I'm already having fun. All right, let's do something else. I'm getting, I'm woken up. I'm getting woke. All I needed was something to like be fun to play with. Let's do another blue on there. Don't worry, we're gonna get into the uh, oranges and stuff. Or actually, okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. Let's do a few more blues, and then we're gonna go over it with the with the red tone. So this is 18 Boys Blue, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I used to have this, Crazy Ass Craft Club, Bold Embrace, and whatever you're gonna call it. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting paint right on top of the other paint, all right? Um, we mix and match here, and I'm not gonna clean this brush the entire time, the entire time, because I forgot to bring a bucket of water. All right, we've offered it, offered it, let's go here. I bought this pattern years ago, never used it. We kind of used it on that piece for Lori, do you guys remember? I'm sorry, we used it on that piece for Lori. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, this doesn't need to be perfect. It's, I just want to use kind of parts of this. This is in preparation for doing this kind of graffiti stencil look that I like to do. I've done it a few times. Um, every time when I start it, it looks terrible. And I think, why am I doing this again? I don't know what I'm doing. It's never going to come together. And then the next day, I see one little inch of it that looks like it's working. And then that inspires me to keep going until I finish it, in case, in case you wanted to know, in case you were interested in that. Um, these are the meals that I made them. I do seem to work like in a corner moving out. That's not deliberate, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just, it is what it is. Yeah. And normally, normally if I weren't doing this on a live, I would be doing this on the floor. Like not me on the floor, but the piece on the floor. I like to like work above it. I like to work above it. So, um, because I can't always tell if I'm plumb when I'm like this. All right, and so I like to just overlap. See, it's just messy, but it's fun, isn't it? Yes, my darling, I painted these boots. So um, my TikTok was blown up today because of the painted chair that I did, and somebody asked if they could paint boots. So I just made um, an answer video wearing the boots, and I was like, well, I'll wear the boots. All right, hold on, YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> they're, they're horizontally, they're vertically challenged. Um, so I want you guys to see the boots. All right, let's go. Let's start moving into, you know what? I feel like I, feel like I want a little see la vie here. I feel like I want a little even darker. Sometimes what I do on these is I'm using, oops, I poured out way too, oh geez, it came out the side instead of the top. So we're gonna be using a lot of this color because I just poured a shit ton of it out. Uh, I want a heavier, I've been using square. I don't wanna use square, we're gonna use a little bit rounded. And I just scatter these on the floor so I can step on them and then track paint everywhere as I go. In case you were wondering, there's no assistant here. They've all quit. They've all run for the hills. 
because cleaning up after a tangle with two lives, is, is Agnes on here? Agnes is my buddy. She used to come and come to my lives and help me clean up after for like an hour. All right, let's um let's put another let's put another coat on here. Here's the beauty of this paint. It's a clay-based paint, you guys. So as soon as I paint it, it's basically dry. Okay? So don't. You can just keep going right on top. And sometimes that's the best way. Don't think about it too much. Don't think, just paint. I'm just kind of edging it toward the edge. It's holding itself up almost. Ooh, I like that. You see how we're just kind of getting a lot of depth and texture there? The only thing with this easel is that it's hard for me to get there at the bottom. Any questions? Hey, Chris. Hello, Fort Myers. Hey, Betty. That's okay, Betty. I was late too. Devlin. Devlin, I'm not on fire today. If I'm on fire, I am the opposite of on fire. I am like, I am loopy as shit. All right, let's go here. I really like this. Holy shit. I did almost set my house on fire yesterday. Y'all. I will turn around so you can hear me. I'm decided after working in the garden all day that I earned a burger, okay? I'm counting my points, checking my blood pressure, and I was like, I've worked so hard today, I want a burger. So I decided to make myself a burger. It's like nine o'clock at night, and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Oh, and don't, I'm not worried about it getting mushy. So. So this is like all different colors and I'm not worrying about the edges. For this work that I'm doing, that doesn't matter. That don't matter. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Um, I'm just looking around at which ones I haven't used. And all right, let's do a little Hemingway just for fun. And then we'll start with the other colors. Um, I'm making my burger and I it's sizzling as burgers do. And then I am in the kitchen and I just it. That's all I did, you guys. I just flipped it. It wasn't, I didn't like shake it. I didn't like flip it high in the air, but I flipped it. Y'all, y'all want to guess what happened? The whole pan. Fire. Fire. So I would say the flames are about this high. Luckily, I don't have anything over my stove, really, that could catch fire. Thank God. But here's what scares me. My reflexes were shit. I mean, my cognitive ability, my reflexes are great. I've got it. I'm screaming for Sadie. I screamed. The dogs yipped. Sadie ran to the dogs. I'm screaming, but I didn't scream fire. I screamed, Sadie, open the door. Sadie, open the door. Because my brain said, grab the pan that has two and a half feet tall flames from a grease fire run out the back door and I was going to throw it in the pool. That's what my brain said. Throw it in the pool. Get, hold it, run, door open, toss in the pool. Sadie is checking on the dogs. So I'm like, what am I going to do? And our little extinguisher was not there. That was done. And then all of a sudden, I remembered my husband had just made me popcorn. This will tie together. And so he had the big pot with the popcorn, with the big lid. I think it felt like 45 minutes before my brain said, take the lid and douse the fire. It was probably four seconds. But damn, why wasn't that the first thing that entered my head, you guys? Why, 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 why? I just, it just freaks me out. And Sadie said I was really fast. Sadie said I figured it out really fast. And I was like, I don't think I figured it out really fast. Anyway, the flames died down and I ate my burger. <laughs> and then my husband walked in and my, my, my daughter and I were both like, and he knows that look. What happened? So actually I told him what happened. So I'm not going all the way to the edge here. I'm trying to make it a little, I don't want to see the lines of the, of stuff. Ooh, that's cool. Do y'all like it? Do y'all like it? We're just playing with colors. We're just playing. I'm going to do that up here a little bit. Um, 
So what he said happened probably is when, because I just didn't understand if I let it get that hot. I didn't think I let it get that hot. Um, and I don't think I did. I think when I flipped the pan, I um, I think when I flipped the pan, um, I flipped it so hard that a piece of grease went into the fire and then the fire traveled on that grease into my pan and lit the whole thing up. That's what I think. All right, that was a little off. So here's what I do. If I do get it off a little bit, I'll just go back over it and say, See, that's the thing with stencils. So the only thing about these stencils that I'm using, you guys, I think I want to go grab one more if you guys will wait here for me, is that you want to mix up the thick ones and the thin ones because um, what I'm not seeing here is a bold enough pattern that is separate from the other patterns. And that's really key. I'm going to keep talking while I grab another one. That's really key for the design. This one's really big. You want to use different sizes. Um, so I think what I want to do first is break this up a little bit, and then we'll start moving into some of the warmer tones. Are you kids down with that? I'm sorry I'm not seeing all your comments. Baking soda works too. Yeah, Betty, that would have, I mean, the fact that I couldn't see the pan at that exact moment to just very easily cover it, which I did. I mean, it did, it did happen. It did happen, but it just, I just, I wish it'd been a little bit faster. All right. So that's cool. I like it. Okay. Now, the other way that we can be doing this, kiddo, is, um, no, okay, I changed my mind. I want, to, I want to cover it all in the blues and the greens. I think I want to cover it all with blues and greens and yellows. And then we're going to go over. Don't worry. It's going to dry. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Don't stress. Don't stress. But as soon as I get an idea, I'm like, oh, wait, I have another idea. Um, let's, let's go a little bit bigger across. Maybe with this one. Let's see. Because I like to have it so that the whole background, the whole background is, is textured. I don't remember the name of the artist. Maybe you guys do. Who does those, um, those big murals that are just layered um, stencils? I mean, she's really cool. I mean, well, I don't know her. I like her work. But I, she doesn't have much about herself. I kind of like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that over. See if I can get that on there. Again, I would be doing this on the floor. So um, gravity's not on my side, kiddo. But I'm trying. All right. Can you see how I'm mixing up my colors right on the brush? Now, the graffiti dresser that set my, oh yeah, that's cool, that set my Pinterest afire years and years and years ago was just, it was just a dark blue piece where I did um, my style of graffiti texture. All it was was repeating patterns kind of crawling up the frame. So it was, it, it was in its simplicity, I think, that it was successful. Um, because it was basically just a navy piece that had that element to it. So this one, I may end up doing that again, where the top of the piece is more simple, and then it kind of crawls up. But I'm kind of feeling like I want the whole thing covered in a repeating pattern, and then we'll go over it with um, something more bold in the brighter tones. That's what I'm thinking. But let's just, let's just see what we got. And don't worry if you kind of go over the pattern. I kind of did that on purpose to show you. 
Yeah, hold on, I gotta stand back. I gotta stand back and see where we're at. I gotta be behind you. Well, that's fun. You know what I can do? I can kind of, um, I can probably lift that out so I can get to it there. Let's see. I can get to it. Oh, this is a cool one. Let me see if I can, um, oh no, I got this one. I got this kind of wedged in there. So we'll worry about that later. Okay. So at this point, what I would do is I would take a break and I would just let it settle and then I would come back. But we're live. So let's just keep going. So I'm going to kind of just play around with some colors. I just want to kind of blend it out a little bit. And go over the colors that are there. Kind of create almost like a pinhole effect. So, and before I would be done with this, you guys, I mean, I would be doing like 50 layers. Okay, maybe, um, did you get your burger? <laughs> yes, when I got my burger, I got my burger. I love Soulful of Sunshine because look at how it just kind of like, it just pops on there. So I'm just rolling it on there. I just want to mush it out. I kind of want to mush out where that Hemingway was a little, you're a little too strong for me, Hemingway. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm just, I'm toning you down. I'm doing what I hate what people do to me. I'm saying, I know, I'm, I'm quieting down navy blue with electric acid yellow. That's what I'm doing. All right, so, hold on, I gotta stand back. Oh yeah, that's better. See, so now we're getting like, now we're kind of getting like this light part, we're kind of getting this darker part. Are you feeling me on that? You guys kind of see what I'm doing a little bit? Or are you like, she's just making a hell kind of mess on there. <laughs> That's all she's doing. <laughs> that's okay. At this point, that's probably what it looks like. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. I'm going to darken that a little bit more and just play with texture. So the other thing I might do is also just play with texture. So hmm, let's save these for the warm tone. Let's save these for the warm tone. All right, we all ready? I'm feeling like, okay, we can go one of two ways. We can kind of, we can kind of start um, a little more uh, sedate, um, like hibiscus, this kind of better. Like we can kind of start, you know, this one hibiscus. We can start with the coastal collection because these are a little bit more, um, a little bit more grayed, a little bit more, these are white based, okay? So we can kind of start here and start building up and then end up at the top with more of the neons. Or we can just jump right the hell into neons and say, screw it, we're just jumping right in. Tell me what you want. <laughs> Sometimes there's a nice week. You're so cute. You don't leave anything on your, Okay, I'm waiting. Which way you guys want to go? I know there's a lag. I could do a little dance here. Hey, Debbie, welcome. Thank you guys so much for sharing what's going on here. Betty says, I think Betty's saying transition. Transition. Okay. Oh, so here, we can use Lemon Sharp. Let's use Lemon Sharp a little bit. Because this will kind of transition us a little bit in the yellow direction. That might be fun. Um, we're pulling out all the colors. So if any of you guys are in D.C. and you want to come help me clean up after, you know, I'm here. I'm here. And I'm running out of room on my board. This is why, I, um, this is why I'm on a big piece of uh, poster board for this. Because otherwise I'd have 18 trays with all the colors that I used. Um, so let's. So this stencil is super fun because it is, it's an inverted stencil. It's an inverted stencil. 
So what happens is when you stencil on it, everything behind it becomes the look. Let me just show you. Let me just show you because words are words are evading me here. So I'm gonna get the lemon sharp loaded up on here. Just do a little bit. You guys can tell us what it is. And mostly I just want to, I, I, you know, even if this whole thing just doesn't work out at all, then it's our base layer. I just want to show you guys how much thought you should put in to creating, which is, which I'm trying to say is none. You just, just go for it. Just go for it. Don't obsess it. Um, once we kind of get a little farther in, I might start getting like, oh, y'all remember when we did that big bouquet? And y'all were like, put another leaf in it. Put another leaf in it. I'm like, no, it's perfect. And y'all made me put another leaf in. You were right. Okay, you can't see that well enough. The color's, um, it's too, uh, it's too, Muted. So let me do that again. Hold on. Let me get that back. We need a brighter color there. And I, even if I can't get it exactly right, God bless, dude. You were just there. Oh, there it is. Okay. There. We need a brighter color. All right. Let's do. Let's do this one. Let's let's start getting into our. What's nice about the daydreams, you guys, is they're so thick that I can just really load this up and it gives me pretty good coverage, okay? So if I were doing this with kind of a different kind of paint, it might not have been a clay-based paint. And I'm also not going with a pure tone. By the time, I mean, my brush is a mess. It's a fright, so I'm getting a little bit of every color on here. And if it starts getting way too messy, we'll call it a day. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do some more. Or Tuesday. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, that was good. Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see? Okay. Isn't it fun? Yeah. Yeah. I like these. I want more of that color. I want more of that color. All right, I'm gonna put this down. And what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, let's see. Let me get, I want that a little bit stronger. Sorry, I'm getting a pimple. in yet, you guys, but I will, and I'll show you guys those in action. Let's get that a little bit stronger. It's just instant gratification when you do it this way. It's instant. All right, let's, oh, I know what I was going to show you. Let's start using some of our rollers now. So I can just roll it right on here. We can start getting more of those colors kind of going up the side. This is also, the reason I'm letting it mush is because I'm taking note in my head. Like, what happens when I mix these colors together? Because we don't, even though y'all know how much I love color, I don't always need it to be a completely pure tone. I do like it when they're who was the one, Natasha, are you still on there, who did it with the black? She used, made, she mixed everything with Major Tom, which is gorgeous. All right, so now I'm going to get some more texture there going on. Okay, 
We need more. More, more, more. More, more, more. So I'm going to try a different one just so I can clean up multiple brushes. And we're going to roll this over. Over and over. I could just roll this in here, but I like doing it this way. Because I like that I don't overfill it. We're going to get all the colors on here. And then we're going to let it dry. And then when we come back, we're going to keep playing again and seeing kind of how what we want to really pop. Isn't that fun? Oh, I like that. I'm sorry I'm not reading all your comments fast enough. More abstract. Yes. Yes. Neon orange. Absolutely. I want to get, I just feel like I want to get this all on here and then we're going to go to the neon. It's at the point now where I'm starting, I want to keep that, that bright color. And you guys, are you seeing it in reverse? I'm not sure if you are. But this is the point where it actually is starting to get chaotic for some people, but it's actually starting to make sense to me, if that makes any sense at all. So let's, let's start getting some of our... Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're right, Betty. Let's start bringing in some of the neons. And I don't know if I want to bring them in heavy. I just don't know if I want them heavy or light. So I'm going to put them on light, and then we'll see, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, lots of glitter. And do we want to do stencil? Oh. This is the other big stencil I had. Let's do that. Let's just see how that works. I'm going to mix what's already on here with what's right here. But what is it? No. Let's just, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Let's just see what happens. Famous last words. Let's just see what happens. So it's losing a little bit of its neon as I'm using this brush. I told you I wasn't going to clean this up. We'll end the live when it's clear the brush needs cleaning. <laughs> we might be close. <laughs> I think we're really close. Let's just see how this one goes, and then we'll decide. Ready? I know what you're doing. You're just using the black. Soft neon. I like that section. She likes the section. All right. I like it. I like it. And I believe we have come to the portion of the show where if I don't wash out my brush, everything is going to be the same color. <laughs> I think we got to let I think we got to let her breathe. Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it straight because um, if you're seeing it at an angle, it doesn't quite make as much sense. Hold on a second. There we go. And the light's a little off in here. Um, all right, let's stare at it. I'm seeing it. I know it might be hard to see, but I think once we get even more of the oranges and the reds 
that are really kind of going to take over this area, probably a little heavier. And then we're going to get lighter in here. And here's the thing. If it feels like it's getting too busy, use a thicker, use a thicker stencil. Use a thicker stencil. Um, because then you can just cover up where we started. So, for example, if I really like this, I can mask it. I can mask it. Um, so maybe everything in here is just, it's just meant to be the pattern for what's behind it, if that makes sense. So I can come in here with a little bit more of the oranges. I kind of like the getting it a little heavier around the edges. That's just kind of spooky to me a little bit. And for those of you just joining us, this is just the practice board we're doing before we do the furniture. I just want to get an idea of the colors that I want to use um, before I do the whole furniture piece. Do I want to have the yellows on the background and the warm tones at the front, or do I want to do vice versa? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What do y'all vote? What are y'all thinking? Neons, yes, I do think, I think I want to move into more of the pinks. Like, this whole thing could just be a base for doing, you know, bright neon colors. Bright, bright, bright neon colors. Or I could get off the live, don't hate me, I could get off the live, you guys, and just spritz the whole thing with water and mix it all together. I might do that. I don't know. I have to see. I have to see. All right. You like the yellow? Devlin is like, yes, brighter. V-shaped stencil and end scene. Devlin, Devlin's like, just stop, Sue, just stop. I am gonna stop. Y'all are awesome. This has been so much fun. Let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can lift it up so you guys can see it a little better. You can see what I'm seeing. Off my finger. So here we go. I think it looks a little better. Sorry, I was showing TikTok here. So really, I just want you guys to see how you can just totally play with the layers and the colors and the layers and the colors, and then you can just do it random, but then stare at it. Do it random, don't think, but then stare at it and be like, oh, what do I like? Do I like here where that blue is really popping against the lime? Do I like here where it's kind of mushy and messy or do I like it here where it's a little more defined so just all I want you to do is go crazy first without thinking which is easy to do when you're exhausted like me um, and then we can go back in thinking more but either way whether you love it or you hate it it's a base it's just a base to start from it's just it's just a conversation opener but I'm actually kind of digging it I'm actually kind of digging it all right, kiddos, I have to go answer probably TikTok, y'all. Y'all, go on my last post, please, and help me. If y'all are on TikTok, the post I did using the guy's voiceover that I posted last night, it was at like 350,000 views right before I went on this live, and I had 60 comments I hadn't answered yet. So um, can y'all go in and start answering some comments? I try to answer every comment. And I know that that sounds ridiculous and probably bad for my mental health. But I've worked really, really hard to create connections with you guys. I've worked really, really hard to be available to you, helpful to you, entertainment for you, and to just help you on your journey. So when I finally go viral and somebody asks a question, that's not the point in time in which I'm like, oh, no. That's the point in time where I'm jumping in. Because I just got, I just got entered into the room of people who are interested in what I'm doing. I'm not going to miss this opportunity. So I will probably be up all night long answering comments. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a fantastic day. Go out. Have a great weekend. No, wait. What is it? It's Tuesday or Thursday. It's Thursday. Go paint something. Go paint something. Go paint something. Okay. All right, Facebook, thank you for your patience today. Again, so sorry. Did you like it, Devlin? Yeah, everybody loved it. 
Is it because it wasn't my voice? Devlin, tell me the truth. I used a voiceover of somebody else. And I liked what he said, but I felt like he made a, um, he made it too much about just being poor. And I didn't think that the message needed to be that you had to be poor in order to be an upcycler. And so I, um, I just edited out some parts. I didn't change the meaning too much, but I edited out some parts and just made it a minute um, or 30 seconds. And uh, dang, dang, he liked it. Okay. All right. Uh, the reverse force. I get all my stencils from uh, Royal, Royal Design Studio. And there is, I have an affiliate link somewhere. Message me and I'll send you the affiliate link for that. All right, kiddos, have a great day. I got to clean up this mess. We'll see you soon. Bye.